Good morning, I'm meteorologist Jen Harcher. I'm coming to you live from the Dick Goddard Weather Center here in Cleveland, Ohio with your Northeast Ohio forecast and more spring temperatures on tap for us in the week ahead. Uh, in fact, we could possibly tie or break another record again. So we'll talk more about that coming up. But first, let's talk about your weekend because we've got a gorgeous weekend on tap for us. Lots of sunshine expected both days. It's on the cool side today, as expected in February, though. We're not getting out of the 30s in spots, upper 30s, low 40s off in our western communities, and then everybody in the 40s tomorrow with plenty of sunshine. So here's a look at your eight-hour forecast. Uh, we're still seeing some lingering lake effect clouds, mainly in the primary snow belt this morning. That's going to continue to erode as we go through the remainder of the morning, that by the afternoon, everybody virtually cloud-free temperatures a late afternoon in the upper 30s and then we'll have some high wispy clouds start to move back in overnight uh, but not really a lot to talk about other than the fact that I mean this February warmth really your Super Bowl Sunday sunny dry mid 40s no issues here on Valentine's Day a lovely day low 50s expected and then by midweek that's when we're going to possibly get some record warmth in the area we've got 60s back in the forecast which is a far cry from our average average high 38 degrees on this date. Sunrise this morning was at 728 and sunset is at 556. So here's the culprit for the sunshine, this area of high pressure. It's going to keep much of the cloud cover out of our area. That's going to continue to slip to the east and as it does, winds switching direction out of the south and that's going to bring in some warmth across our area. So just a few morning clouds still lingering out on the east side. Otherwise, lots of sunshine temperatures in the upper 30s. Tonight, we're back into the mid-20s, partly cloudy. And then by tomorrow, lots of sunshine once again. 45 degrees. No weather worries whatsoever if you are headed to any kind of, of Super Bowl party later in the day. So I do want to look ahead, though. As we head into the week, Wednesday is going to be your windy warm day, and that's the one that we can possibly um, tie or break some records. Uh, but for the most part, we'll likely be dry throughout the day. Now, on Thursday, that's when things start to change. We'll have rain showers developing from southwest to northeast through the morning hours. Widespread rain expected on Thursday. It's still going to be rather mild. That's going to continue through the evening, and then a strong cold front moves through early Friday morning. Possibly change over to a wintry mix early Friday morning. By Friday afternoon, we'll have lots of clouds around, a few passing flurries, and then Friday night into early Saturday, some lake effect snow showers. I'm not looking at much in the way of accumulation, but that's still several days away, But and that's also our next chance of snow. So here's a look at your eight day forecast. And again, it's not looking like a February forecast, right? Upper 30s today, lots of sunshine, mid 40s, both Sunday and Monday. Valentine's Day, we've got lower 50s. Um, I can't roll out a stray sprinkle or a spotty shower here late Tuesday evening. I do expect some showers to move in with a fast moving disturbance here Tuesday night. So I mean, by the time we get daylight hours on Wednesday, that system's going to be out of here. It's a warm front and that front, I mean, look at these temperatures. Uh, low 60s Wednesday into Thursday. Again, tomorrow I might actually change it into the upper 60s because with that wind, it will be gusting to 35, 40 at times. I expect that to really boost our temperatures up. Now on Friday, early morning, that's when the strong cold front moves in, wintry mix early morning. That high on Friday, that'll occur during the morning hours. Temperatures will fall through the day, possibly right around freezing point by our lunch hour. And then again, Friday night into early Saturday, there's a chance of some lake effect snow. But lake effect uh, could be an issue here as we kick off your weekend next weekend. Okay, well, everybody have a wonderful weekend. Enjoy the sunshine. You're going to need your sunglasses. Uh, gorgeous, gorgeous weekend ahead of us. I mean, yeah, we could get warmer temperatures, but not complaining, that's for sure. I'm sure I will speak with you again tomorrow after the show. In the meantime, have a great one.